outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Hey y'all, I've come in. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, it's not funny. It's just like, I mean, I'd rather like laugh about it than like feel like frowny and sad about it. Um, so I'm just gonna be happy about it, I guess. Not happy about it, but like happy despite it. So I'm gonna tell you all how this all happens. So basically it started, not me, but like our story starts Monday. My dad started not feeling great. Tuesday, he was like really not feeling great. So he took a COVID test and he was positive. My mom and my sister also both took one because they were both home and they were both negative, but I was at school. My sister wasn't at school because she wasn't feeling great, but she did not have COVID so, and she didn't have a strep. So we're pretty sure she had the flu. She got two COVID tests actually. So we know my sister did not have it. I think she had the flu or something, but my mom and my sister both took a test and they were both negatives. I sold to go to school because basically our school's COVID protocol was if you've been in close contact with someone, you have still have to come to school, but you just have to wear a mask and stuff. And then obviously if you have it, you don't come to school. So I went to school, wore a mask and stuff. But basically our plan was I if I showed any symptoms, then I would get tested because I was going to be re-exposed every day. So I didn't want to have to take a new test every single day. We had an at-home test, but we didn't like want to use all the at-home tests too quickly. So I just didn't get tested right away. And then... Today Saturday, woke up. I gradually been feeling just a little off, but not even that bad. Like it'd be in the morning and then by the end of the day, I'd feel fine again. So I just thought it was like dry air or something because it happens like every winter, like even before COVID was a thing. Anyways, today I felt like that, but then my throat was like really dry today when I had dance. And then I got home and it just started to feel worse. So finally I just went downstairs and I was like, mom, can I just take a COVID test? And she was like, are you sure? So I like took my temperature and I didn't have and I didn't have a temperature. So my mom was like, okay, that's usually a symptom. She was like, we don't want to just waste these tests for no reason. So she like didn't, didn't want me to take it. But I was like, mom, just just let me take it. So I took it and the at-home test was positive. So we're not sure that I have it because obviously it is an at-home test. So we're going to go to the doctors tomorrow and we're going to get like a doctor, like a better test to get a better idea if I have it or not. But I think I have COVID. So today is Saturday, December 11th. So that this is the first day that like, I'm saying like, okay, I have COVID. Um, I don't know when I first got it. But my plan is I just want to kind of document it. This isn't going to be like one of my normal like day in the lives, week in the lives, where I'm like showing you the foods I'm eating and stuff like that. I just really want to document exactly what my experience is because I haven't seen very many people who like shared their experience. So I just want to share that. By the way, my dad is fully vaccinated, but he still got it. And I, I've had my first dose and I was literally getting my second on the day that my sister had to get tested first because my sister got tested before my dad. And like I said, she was negative. They didn't want me to get the second dose if I was possibly exposed or possibly had the virus. But I've had my first vaccine and usually for kids, that's like gets you to the normal immunity, not full immunity, obviously, because I have it, but like, you know. So, I'm just gonna keep vlogging. Um, yeah, I'll update you tomorrow when I get like the actual test and we're for sure if I have it or not. And I'll just like keep letting y'all know my symptoms, how I'm feeling, stuff like that. I'm going to be doing a little haul of all the medicines and things like that that, that I have been taking or that I will be taking. So, some things are downstairs in our pantry. So, every day I take zinc, vitamin C, vitamin D and some multivitamins. I actually haven't been taking zinc that much, but I need to start doing that. Um, but now I'm gonna be taking extra of all those every day because I need to get lots of vitamins and stuff in when you're sick. My mom also brought me these like elderberry pills, which I took. And then also I have two nasal sprays. And so I'm gonna be switching off between these two. So basically what my mom said to do was I would do four a day, switch off. So I do this one twice and this one twice, so like alternate which one I do. And then along with that, I'm always taking my allergy medicines. And then I also have this, which was for my allergies to like, before I took my nose spray just to clear that up, but I'm gonna use that for the other nose sprays as well. So I can like, so I can clear it up before I take that. Those are all the medicines. And then also I set some things downstairs. And then also before I go to bed, I'm gonna take some melatonin. And that's what my mom told me to take because I 
it can definitely be harder to fall asleep when you have a cold. Yeah. So I'm trying to take as good of care of myself so that way I can get over this really quickly. Also, my mom gave me some Listerine Cool Mint mouthwash to try and like rinse out all the germs and stuff in my mouth. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm supposed to do this like twice a day too. Also, a little update on today. My nose started feeling really stuffy again while I was sitting down watching TV with my dad. By the way, I'm going to be hanging out tons with my dad now because he is where I got COVID from. So he has COVID too. So for a while, he like couldn't hang out. He like, couldn't be with my family. Like if he ever had to come into the same room like to get food or to walk by or something, he'd wear a mask. But now we're able to hang out because we both got COVID. So like we can't spread it to each other. So my dad and I were watching TV upstairs. And we had it synced up on the TV downstairs. So my sister was watching the same show as us. And we were like yelling things about it up and down the stairs. But like we weren't together watching it. But while I was sitting down watching TV, my nose started to get really stuffed up. And I feel like it's the case whenever I have a cold. When I'm standing up, my nose doesn't feel stuffy at all. Like right now, it feels fine. But then whenever I'm sitting down, it like feels really stuffed up. Also, I have little marks like around my nose. Like I can't really feel them. I'm wondering if it's like... Actually, I can feel a little bit. There are little scratches. I'm wondering if it's like if I accidentally scratched it because I, I remember I was doing, rubbing a lot there to like try and clear my sinuses. I don't know what that is. I just rinsed my mouth with this and oh my gosh, I think that's poisonous or acidic or something. My mouth feels like it's on fire. But like a cold way. Like it feels like it's like eating away at my mouth. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> if I lose my taste, it's because of this, not because of COVID. Okay, but actually on the topic of losing my sense of taste, my dad lost his sense of taste around like three or four days in to having COVID. This is so weird. I have to like walk around my house with a mask on. So that way I don't like infect my mom or my sister. Now I'm going to the doctors because I haven't actually taken a COVID test at the doctors. I did an at-home one and that was positive. Well, my mom wanted me to take like an actual one before we're like for sure I have COVID, so that's where I'm going right now. I'm positive. <sighs> okay, I just wanted to give y'all a little update on my current COVID situation. Honestly, I'm feeling completely fine. I have a little bit of a cough, but I get a cough whenever I get a cold or the flu or anything. So like, that's not specifically just COVID. It's just asthma combined with COVID. But my cough honestly isn't as bad as it sometimes is, so that's really good. Also, I've been pretty active, and I think that's good to try and stay active if you can. Like two days ago, my dad and I went on a walk together. Um, yesterday, I did some lifting in our gym, and that felt great. Although now I'm crazy sore. I was planning on going on a run today, but it is like crazy windy. Like I stepped outside and I almost, and that like the wind pushed me back in. <laughs> so... I want to work out still, but I was really in the mood for a run and I'm too, way too sore to do any lifting. I need to have a little bit of a rest day from lifting because those squats killed my legs. But yeah, I'm recovering really well. I'm having another test on Friday to find out if I'm done because I think I'm going to be good by then. I feel great now, honestly, and it's Wednesday. As of now, my mom and my sister do not have it that we know of and my dad is now negative. But because he just had it, he's still able to hang out with me because I can't give it to him. I can't give it to him because he literally just had it. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty much all better now. And today I'm getting another test to see if I'm finally negative. I'm really excited. Hoping that I am. I think that I am. But we're going to find out soon. We're all going to get COVID tested to find out if COVID is finally out of our family. I'm negative. So I'm done with COVID. So, and my mom and my sister are negative too, so it's out of the family.